Mr. Heffernan here, projectile motion. So here's a projectile, cannonball, uh, traveling in a nice parabolic path or quadratic function. So a projectile is an object upon which only the forces of gravity and drag are present. The path or trajectory of the projectile is a parabola or a quadratic function. So here we got our parabolic pathway right here. Um, and the only forces acting on it are drag and gravity. If we ignore drag, if there is no drag, then we will have a constant velocity forward. So some examples of projectiles are arrows, basketballs, footballs, soccer balls, rocks, shot put, hammer, etc. Anything that can be thrown or launched uh, that makes a nice parabolic path and cannot have thrust. So like a plane or a missile or something that has a, like a thruster or a propeller, that is not a projectile. So normally when solving problems in physics, we ignore the drag force, the fluid friction or air friction or the water friction. Um, drag force changes with instantaneous velocity, so only a computer can actually deal with it. So here we go, uh, the drag force is proportional to or depends on the instantaneous velocity, the square root of it. And so you would have to do thousands of calculations to get a, a fairly accurate value. And so you would need a computer to do that using some uh, numerical calculus, which would be just too difficult. So we ignore it. Now, if you're on the moon, uh, there is no air, so it would be fine. And you would get a nice symmetrical uh, parabola or quadratic function. So we're going to do two examples. Example one will have a decrease in height. So here we got a cannonball and it's launched at 100 meters per second at an angle 30 degrees above the horizontal. So if you go horizontal here and come up 30 degrees, here's the initial launch of the cannonball. It's going to travel in a parabola and it's going to be at the height it used to be right around here. And then it's going to keep coming down and then land on the castle. So we're going to go from 30 meters down to 10 meters. So we're going to have a drop of 20 meters. So when you do a question like this, you almost always need to find the time first, and it will be a quadratic equation. So using the, uh, the y components, we find the change in height, the change in the y, the y position is going to be minus 20 meters. The initial velocity times time is going to be 100 sine 30 degrees. And of course, the acceleration in the y direction is gravity which is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. When you uh, rearrange this, 9.8 divided by 2 is 4.9. Bring it over, it becomes positive. Um, 100 sine 30 works out to be 50 exact. Bring it over, it becomes negative 50. And we have the minus 20 already on the left-hand side. And now we got a quadratic. Uh, we got our coefficient a, t squared, our coefficient b, t, and then our coefficient c for the quadratic formula. And uh, after using the quadratic formula, you should get two times, negative 0.3854 seconds, or 10.5895. Now, you can't go back in time, so negative time is definitely inadmissible. We can't use that one. So it's going to take 10.5895 seconds uh, to travel this parabola. Now that we've got the time, we can find the distance from the cliff to the castle. So it's going to be uh, the x velocity, which is 100 cos 30 degrees, times the time, 10.5895. And so we find that the cliff is 917 meters from the castle. Now the uh, velocity in the x direction doesn't change, but in the y direction it does, because gravity is acting vertically. So um, we can use vfy minus viy equals ayt which rearranged is VFY equals VIY plus GT, and G being negative 9.8. So when we plug in our numbers, 100 sine 30 for the initial velocity up, um, the acceleration down of negative 9.8 times the time, we get a, the ball is coming down at negative 53.777 meters per second. While it's coming down, it was moving forward at 100 cos 30, or 86.603. You know, that makes a nice little triangle. And then using Pythagorean theorem and TAM, we can find the impact velocity to be 101.9 meters per second forward, 32.8 degrees down. The impact velocity is non-zero. It's zero shortly after impact. 
but not at impact. Otherwise, it, it wouldn't hurt, wouldn't do any damage. So now, um, if you want to see how the Pythagorean theorem was used to find the hypotenuse right here, uh, we've got the adjacent, 86.603, and we got the uh, opposite coming down at 53.777. And so we just use Pythagorean theorem and we get 101.9. To find the angle, it's opposite over adjacent. So in this case, the opposite is 53.777. The adjacent is 86.603. And so when we shift tan that, we get 32.8 degrees. So now let's do a question where there's an increase in height. So basketball player throws the ball um, up and forward at 10 meters per second at a 60 degree angle from a height of 2.35 meters. So here it is, leaving the, the player's hands at 2.35 meters. It's going to go up, 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 up. It's going to start to come back down and swish through the net. And the nets um, should be 3.05 meters tall or high, according to uh, the NBA rules. Now, we'd like to know the distance. Was this a three-pointer or not? Okay, so the picture may be a little misleading here. Um, so, uh, to find out if it travels 7.24 meters or 23 feet, 9 inches, that is a three-point goal. All right, so we went from 2.35 meters up to 3.05. So that's a gain of positive 0.7 meters. So our change in height or displacement in the y direction is 0.7. The initial velocity up was 10 sine 60, or uh, 8.6603. And the gravity, of course, is still going to be negative 9.8 because we're on the planet Earth. And divide that by 2, we're going to get the 4.9. So once again, we get a quadratic function, 4.9t squared, negative 8.6603t plus 0 0.70 equals 0. And using the quadratic formula, we get 0 0.0849 or 1.6825 seconds. So now we have two positive times. Which one's right? Well, you got early, 0 0.08, and you got later, 1.6. So if you take a look at the net, if you come across here, right here, the ball would have been at the right height score, but it would have been coming up. So that would be our point zero eight four nine seconds right here. Then it keeps going, 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 and then later at 1.6825, that's when it swishes through the net. So you're not allowed to score from below, so it had to go up and back down. So the second time is the correct time. Now to find out how far it was, we take the, uh, the uh, x component of the velocity, 10 cos 60, multiply by the time it took to score, and we get 8.41 meters. So this is a three-point shot, okay, because it's more than 7.24 meters. Now for the y velocity, once again, your uh, vfy, subtract your viy equals ayt. Rearrange that, plug in our numbers, so we got 10 sine 60 going up. Negative 9.8 meters per second squared coming down for 1.6825 seconds. So the ball is going to be coming downwards at 7.8282 meters per second. So it was moving forward at 10 cos 60 or 5 exact, coming down at 7.8282. And if we use Python tan, the ball will swish through the net at 9.29 meters per second at a 57.4 degree angle. So once again, here's Pythagorean theorem. So we get 5 squared plus 7.82a2 squared. Square root it, and we get 9.29 meters per second. Uh, opposite, 7.82a2 divided by adjacent 5. Shift tan that answer, and we get our final uh, angle of 57.4 degrees. So in summary, uh, projectiles have parabolic motion, or quadratic function trajectories, like this uh, golf ball down below. Uh, gravity and drag are the only two forces acting on a projectile, but we ignore drag in high school because it's just too complicated. Uh, balls, arrows, and other projectiles do not have a thrust force. A plane has a propeller or a jet, so it is not a projectile. Problems. If there's a decrease in the height, one of the times will be negative or going back in time, so we know that is inadmissible. If there's an increase in height, then both times will be positive. One will be the shorter time will be the early time. The longer time will be the later time, so you have to decide, are you on the way up or on the way down? So trying to score in basketball is definitely coming down or the later time. I hope this uh, helped. Thank you.